I got another investment quick take here. I had a friend that I uh, met with lunch and he, he asked me a question on what would be the most speculative investments that you'd be willing to make for the next 30 years. And, you know, I'm not giving you investment advice or anything else like this, but if I had money that I could afford to lose, I would focus on three key areas. The first of which being um, the impacts of blockchain. I think, you know, beyond Bitcoin and all the cryptocurrency stuff, just with shipping and getting things to other people, I think blockchain, the ability to track where things have been with who and, and how that works, I think is really good. The other one would be AI. I think AI is going to change our world again. Um, in fact, if you read articles, it's somewhat, I think it said 50% of articles are written by AI. Uh, and I think that's amazing. That's a lot of articles that, you know, people don't even take a second guess and they're written by <laughs> algorithms. And, um, and, and so like, I can see like the future of phone, like you're calling into a call center, you know, they're already using AI to kind of route where your call should go. But I think the future of that would be you're, you're getting answered. You think you're talking to somebody it's actually an AI bot or something that knows what your questions are and knows how to answer them. Um, and then the third would be space. I mean, you've seen what Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have done with space travel for billionaires and, and whatnot. But I think a story that people haven't talked about a lot about is that, you know, not only have they done it for a fraction of the price that the government was doing it, but they have spawned off other technologies in order to achieve that goal that will impact daily life today. So I think if I had money to lose, three areas, just to summarize, that I think look really interesting to me is, you know, blockchain and the application outside of Bitcoin, looking at uh, AI and how it can affect, you know, daily life and space travel and not for space travel, but the technologies that are spurred by the ability to do space travel and how those technologies will impact our life. Thank you.